Hello, I'm Steve Burgess, hypnotherapist and regression specialist. Thanks for tuning in to Hypno for All. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a wonderful breathing technique that can really help to relieve anxiety and IBS. Did you know that the fastest and the simplest way to relax is through your breath? Most of us on a day-to-day -day basis, especially those of us with anxiety and IBS, are breathing incorrectly. First of all, we're usually breathing too quickly. And secondly, we're breathing using what is known as a chest breath. So in this video, I'm going to teach you a breathing technique that can transform how your body feels and can potentially let go of anxiety and help to heal IBS. Correct breathing is important because by breathing into our diaphragm, we create a state of relaxation in the body. So the first element of this breathing technique is to learn how to breathe using your diaphragm. This is also known as a singer's breath and a relaxational breath and a yogic breath. Because what I'm going to be asking you to do is to learn how to breathe down through into your stomach. And the technique itself uses breathing into the stomach by breathing slowly, as slowly as you possibly can into the stomach and when you're breathing in you push your stomach out when you're breathing out you pull your stomach muscles in this is actually the opposite to the way we normally breathe and so it may take a little bit of getting used to but with practice it becomes second nature so i'd like you to put your hands on your stomach and breathe in as slowly as you possibly can, not taking a big deep breath to start with, just a very slow, long, gentle breath. You can breathe through your nose or your mouth, although it's said it is best to breathe through your nose if you're able to do so. So put your hands on your stomach and breathe slowly in. And as you breathe slowly in, Breathe down into your stomach and push your stomach muscles out. And then as you breathe slowly out, pull your stomach muscles in. It's almost as though your stomach muscles are like a pair of bellows pushing the air out and then pulling the air back in. So just practice that for a few moments, if you will. Breathing slowly in, down into your stomach and pushing your stomach out. Breathing slowly out and pulling your stomach muscles in. And just spend a few moments doing this so you can get a sense of how it feels and it becomes easier to do. Breathing slowly in, pushing your stomach muscles out. As you're slowly breathing down through your chest into your tummy, pushing out, and as you're breathing in, pushing the stomach muscles out. It's very important that you learn to do this breath as slowly as you possibly can. And what I'm going to be asking you to do is to, once you've mastered breathing into the stomach, to aim to breathe with each breath for a total, if you can, of up to five seconds. So this means breathing in and slowly breathing in up to five seconds and then pausing and then breathing out and slowly breathing out for five seconds. If you're unable to breathe for five seconds to begin with, then just aim to breathe for three or four seconds. The more you practice this, the longer your breath will become. So again now, so hands on stomach and breathe slowly in for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Breathing out. One, two, three, 
four, five. So that's the pace that we're aiming for. As I've said, if you can only manage three seconds, that's fine. With practice, the breath will stretch. So this is a process of stretching each breath. So let's just do that again in your own time, counting at that pace. When you're ready, breathing slowly in. And breathing slowly out. Counting in your mind from one to five. But making each breath as smooth and as stretchy as you possibly can. All the time breathing into your stomach, pushing your stomach out. Breathing out, pulling your stomach muscles in. So get used to breathing with the stomach, stretching each breath. What I wouldn't like you to do is to begin by taking a full deep breath, a sudden sharp intake of breath. Because a fast breath like that is a panic breath. You may hear people say we should take deep breaths. Deep breathing is a way of invigorating the body. When you have anxiety in the body, the most important thing is to breathe as slowly as you possibly can. I think it was Lao Tzu, the Chinese philosopher, who said that we should breathe as slowly and quietly as we can so that a person who stands next to us doesn't even hear that we're breathing. So now that you've learnt this process of breathing into the stomach, into the diaphragm, and stretching the breath, the next part of the technique is how to use it. And it's quite simple. What I recommend is doing this slow relaxational breathing 40 times a day, four zero times a day. Now that may sound a lot, but what I'm recommending is you do this breath, maybe one or two of these slow relaxational breaths throughout the course of the day 40 times. What I recommend because obviously life can take over, is maybe put the word breathe on post-it notes around the house, on the kettle, on the bathroom mirror, um, anywhere that you're likely to see on the television screen, etc. So that when you see the word breathe, you immediately just breathe deeply into the stomach for five seconds, stretching the breath, and do one or two of those slow diaphragmatical breaths each time. Now, it is important to do them generally throughout the course of the day. 40 a day is the magic figure. If you only do 10 of them, you may not notice very much of an improvement. So let me give you an example of this breathing technique from my own therapy practice. Many years ago, I had a client who was a fireman who was extremely stressed because of his personal life and his job. And in our first therapy session, I taught him this relaxational breathing technique. I always remember he came back to me a week or two later for another session. And as he walked into my office, he looked radiant. And I said, you look great. Well, how come you're so calm and so confident? And he said, Steve, I've been doing that breathing technique 40 times a day throughout the course of the day, and it's made a massive difference. I feel so much more relaxed. He said, even if there's an emergency call out to a fire and I'm on in the cab on the way to a fire, he said, I'm doing my slow relaxational breathing. He said, I'm so calm that all my mates on my uh, shift, they all think that I've been smoking some wacky backy or something. Um, and yet I had another client who it didn't work for. And he said, it hasn't helped me at all. I'm still very anxious. So... I asked him to show me how he was doing it, and he was breathing fine. He was doing the technique well. He was breathing into his stomach, pushing the stomach out, etc. And he was stretching his breath for four or five seconds. So I said, have you been doing 40 a day? And he said, yeah, I take my dog out in the morning, nice, clean, fresh air, and I do 20. And he said, on an evening, I take the dog out for another walk, nice, clean, fresh air, I do the other 20. That's 40. 
I said, that's why it hasn't worked. All you've done there is relaxed twice in big chunks. What I'm saying is do it 40 times a day in small chunks throughout the course of the day. Remember, every time that you are doing this relaxational breathing, you are inducing a state of relaxation into your body. And that is 40 times a day more than you're currently relaxing. And that's why this works. Many years ago, I had a contract to teach meditation and stress management techniques to prisoners at a local prison. As you can imagine, prison is a high stress environment and I would always teach them this breathing technique. And so many times they would come back to me a week or two later and tell me that not only did they feel much calmer in themselves, but that their sleep patterns had improved. Now, how this works for IBS is simply that IBS is an anxiety-based disorder, and the fastest and simplest way to relax is through the breath. So naturally, by doing this breathing, as anxiety decreases, your IBS also decreases. You become more relaxed in yourself. So with practice, you'll find that this breathing technique can actually transform your life. And I'm truly hopeful that with practice, you will notice your anxieties, your IBS decreasing so you can begin to get your life back and live your life more freely. Thanks for watching.